Just don't bump fucking elbows with me. Don't touch me. All right, you sitting next to me like this. So it's officially the video you guys have been waiting for. This thing is definitely crooked though. And it's too low. Yeah. So it is officially the guys you. <laughs> Is officially the video you guys have been waiting for. You know, I figured it's about time you guys got to know more about us. You know, considering my girl is in most of my videos because she is my girlfriend. This is Asia, by the way, for those that don't know that are new to the channel, you know, and I'm Carlissa, but you guys can go ahead and call me Carly. We've gotten to that level. No. No, babe? Is no. that all okay? Mm -mm. No. All right, so today we asked on my Instagram for people to give us some questions to answer and uh, they did So we're gonna go ahead and answer them while we eat this bomb-ass Popeye's dinner mm. Mm. So fucking hungry. We even got ourselves some shots lined up. Well, we got one shot lined up, you know Do you want to take it first or should we wait to have some food in our system? No, let's take it first. Fuck it. <laughs> Oh my god, I just squirted lime juice in my eye. Aww. Are you okay? Don't touch me. Do you want me to blow in it? Don't touch me. So, you know, we're about to start this video with the shot, you mm. know, show you guys how we get down. <clears throat> <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll redo that. We'll redo that. <gasps> Babe, what's question number one? We got, you know, we both got our nectar. So fucking good. All right, Snack. We're, gonna, we're gonna start off with what are our zodiac signs and do we relate to them? All right, well, I'm an Aquarius, so I'm a boss ass bitch. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, well, I'm a Scorpio, so I'll let y'all decide who the boss ass bitch is with that information. What else? What, what else is it? If we relate to them. Oh yeah. Yes. One thousand percent. Uh huh. Mhm. Mm it's funny because Aquarius and Scorpions are like the least scorpions. <laughs> Scorpios and Aquariuses are the least, like one of the least compatible signs. Like, mm -hmm. like they're not supposed to go together. But here we are. Yeah, here we are. You know who else is an Aquarius? Miani. <laughs> so, if you're ever wondering how I'm doing, the answer is not fine. Just kidding. I have an Aquarius moon though, so you know it brings it all brings it all together. And I have a Pisces moon, so you know, Pisces and Scorpio go really well together. So, oh, so we're vibing. We're good. Damn, I'm hot. Are you hot? Mm. That, sh that, that no. shot made me a little heated right Absolutely now. Not. How have you guys impacted each other's life? Honestly, I'm the same. Others would beg to differ. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I feel like it's made me more mature in a way. Not like mature, but like you've helped me learn how to communicate better and like you know just like work brought on you a kid work on my <laughs> issues <laughs> yeah brought me a kid which i love niani by the way that was never like a factor that played into our relationship the second she told me she had a kid i was like okay she loved me even more <laughs> literally i was like bet bet let me be a step mommy real quick <laughs> no i would say that you've impacted my life a lot how so <laughs> well, let me pull out my notebook with my list of reasons. <laughs> my life is completely different from when I first met you, all in a good way. You know, with you, your family, who's always been super accepting of both me and Niani, and just us having like an actual healthy relationship where we For can real, that's different to communicate both of us. and mm -hmm, we get along like 90% of the time and that 10 percent always though. have fun together probably like the biggest thing is that carly has does a lot better with like setting boundaries than i do so she's definitely helped me a lot with that where i'm not as much nearly as much of like as a pushover i guess you could say because i used to be wow mm -hmm. wow don't talk to me <laughs> take it back what's something that can't be forgiven well mm. That's kind of hard because I feel like I'm not a forgiving person, but I mean... I'm a super forgiving person. Yeah. I'm too forgiving. So and I feel like everything is situational. So it all kinds of depends on like so many other factors that like play into it. I don't no. feel like there's... I feel like if you were to like cheat on me, but like with the same person like for months on end and like you even brought this person around Niani and like it was all behind my back, like I feel like... 
Yeah, that's that a is no. a no for me. You're gonna that's come no. home and I'm gonna have my shit packed, even though you live in my house. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> get annoying. I'm going to go stay at a hotel. That would definitely be one of them. I mean, everything to me is forgivable. I'm going to forgive you for myself, like for the sake of myself so I can move on. But it's like something that we would never, ever get back together for would like be something like that or something where we like had our own place, but like you were bringing someone to our house. And then like you said, you had them around our kid or kids or, you know, whatever else, like without me knowing just disrespect mm -hmm. stuff. That's just too disrespectful. Right. No, I'm going to not forgive you. <laughs> You're fucking annoying. How has your perception changed of each other since knowing each other? <laughs> I'm gonna go first. So, I feel like the one thing that my perception has changed about Carly would be that, like, when you first meet her, she comes across very, like, nonchalant very like non-emotional and cold-hearted or whatever the case is but she's a big ass baby don't let her fool you she is emotional uh, and don't she's, tell them that. she's don't a big tell them that. ass baby but she she definitely doesn't and it's not even like a friend it's not like you put up a friend but you just don't come across that way yeah like once you know me mm -hmm. i don't know for you i feel like i i can't really say anything's changed because from the moment i met asia like i knew she was like someone to like stick her ground you know and like she had a little attitude to her you were just a boss ass bitch you gave <laughs> off that energy when i first met you and like you still give off that energy and you know that's why i love her hey i am who i am i'm, I'm a that... boss ass bitch 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 <laughs> bitch bitch I'm a boss the first time we interacted <laughs> <laughs> was when she was giving the teacher like a hard time because he was not explaining the subject correctly and like he was not answering her question and so she was just not afraid to keep like asking him like so why is it not making sense you know and she was just going back and forth with the teacher and i'm like oh my god like the whole class is just like <laughs> You know when it's like well, awkward and like well, they're just looking at her and They pay so. you for a reason. They pay you to teach and you're not teaching right. So I'm not learning. So we're going to need to figure something out so here. So I literally turned around and I was just like, I answered her question because I felt like I knew where she was coming from. And so like, I just tried to help her. So like I turned around and I was like, yeah, like you're right. Like don't even listen to what he's saying. Like your, your point is right. And I said, you know what? Thank you. That's all I needed. <laughs> Bet. Move on. That's all I needed. <laughs> And yeah, that was the first time we ever really interacted like that. I th I'm i pretty sure. I might have asked you something about Texas, but that's mm -hmm. on another, <laughs> mm -hmm. another She story. definitely asked me something about Texas to go see another girl. But like, I've lived in Texas. Niani was born in Texas. My family lives in Texas. So, you know, I gave her advice. I don't even know how she ended up finding out I was going to Texas. Like, she was, she happened to be in the classroom and she was the only one there. And I don't know how we ended up talking and I had asked her something about like... Because I'm nosy. <laughs> and my thing is, is whenever somebody says something like about somewhere that I've been, I'm a chime in. <laughs> so yeah, I think like I if somebody like I think you were talking to somebody else and like I overheard you saying like, oh, something, something like Texas. And I was like, oh, bet you're going to Texas. Like what part? And then that's when I was telling you. Mm -hmm. And then like, well, I don't know up. if that was like before or after. Like, I, think, I don't know. I think it was before. And then after that is the incident where I told her that she was right. It was like they were like a month apart. Like they weren't too close back together. Back to back. Yeah. What's something you would miss about each other if you guys broke up? I don't know. Why did we break up? <laughs> because all that depends. Why did we break up? Because, like, fuck that bitch. Honestly, for me, I think I would miss... Like, yeah, it has a lot to do with, like, how we broke up. But, like, I don't see why we would even break up. I I, right. But I think what you would miss is I think you'd miss me, Ani. I think you would just miss us, like... Don't answer part. my question for me. There. You don't and know I would I'm... miss. I would miss her family. Yeah, for sure. I mean, family, I would... Because my family doesn't live here. See, so, like, her family is, like, the family that I'm around the most. So, you know, I would I would definitely miss Niani for sure. But, like, I would probably still see Niani because I feel like we're so close. And, like, I can't imagine not having her in my life. But I feel like I would definitely miss, like, Asia just being able to talk to her <laughs> about things. Because she's so good at giving advice that it's, I like... Am. I, I would miss that. having that person to go to. Honestly, I think I'd miss even more than your family. Like, all of your money. <laughs> Like actually, oh, I think I would yeah. miss your riches and like your nice, right. mm -hmm. luxurious lifestyle. My millions of dollars in the you. bank. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, makes sure. sense for sure. I knew it. Okay, next. How do you guys handle an argument? So, <laughs> me and Carly <laughs> handle confrontation, miscommunication, arguments, all of that completely 
opposite of each other. Carly is like, if she gets mad about something, Carly can be mad for seven months straight and never talk about it and just be <laughs> mad and have an attitude for 472 well, days. you know what you did. She literally, <laughs> and the second that her face changes and looks like she might be annoyed by something, I'm like, what's wrong? What's wrong? Do you want to talk about it? What's wrong? What's wrong? Let's I talk literally about it. hate it because sometimes you just want to be in your own head for a second. Like, okay, but the <laughs> reason why is because you're not just, she's not just in her head for one second. If you don't get her to talk about it, and by get, I mean literally hold her hostage like she's being kidnapped and force her to talk about what's wrong with her, she will be mad forever. Like, I get it because there's some people that just like, okay, you leave them alone, give them a couple hours, even a couple days, and they're going to get over it. She won't get over it until she talks about it, but she won't talk about it. Yeah, it's a really big problem so, I have. But since being with you, I have worked on it a lot. because She has gotten a lot better. We were just talking about that. She's gotten a lot better since we were first dating. Yeah, I really didn't like so. that about myself because then I would just not talk to her. Mm -hmm. But like that doesn't work because I, I used to just pull up to her house when she would get mad and not talk to me. <laughs> so This is true. I mean, that's good though, right? You need somebody else going to yeah, so beat your like, ass a yeah. little bit. <laughs> She definitely helps bring out that like better side of me in that aspect. Like I suck at communicating and she's so good at it, which is like very good for me because I need that like what's wrong and like just push me to talk about things because I, I won't. I'll she refuse. literally won't. Which literally if you see her tied down and me interrogating her, mind your business because that's what we have to do in order to get her to talk about her feelings. I end up doing it though, so... Mm. If you can travel anywhere in the world right now, where would it be? Oh. I love the beach, so I feel like I would like to go somewhere where there's a beach, but like I haven't been to like anywhere like that. I know yours is probably like Ireland or Iceland or something. Yeah, the beach is not cool to me. The beach is the same. I mean, it's cool. Like I'll go to the beach. Like we're gonna go to Hawaii soon. Like we're gonna go to the beach, but like I feel like anywhere in the world, there's so many places where there's so much more just like culture and scenery, things to do, things to see. Iceland is definitely at the top of my bus. <laughs> definitely at the top of my bucket list. Um, I want to go to Tennessee. I want to go to Montana. Um, I want to go to Italy. Yeah, we definitely Paris. have a lot of traveling in our future. Mm. For sure. Mm -hmm. So a lot, a lot of places. But Iceland, number one, for sure. I want to go to Iceland really bad. Where do you guys see yourself in five years? Not here. <laughs> Not here. In our own house, hopefully. No, we no, will. We, in five, five years. years you, if, if you think I'm a bee, 31, living in my girlfriend's parents' garage, you got me fucked all the way up. <laughs> you got me fucked all the way up. Not that I'm not thankful for her parents and their garage because I am, but absolutely not. Right. It's very, it's just very frustrating being crammed in that little, it's so little when you have a kid and a cat. <laughs> like, right. On top of us just trying to like do our own thing all the time like we can't it's a lot just being in that room together and so, just not having enough but, space like you would think it's a lot of space but when there's three people yeah it's not that yeah much that's space. definitely the biggest thing like when we can afford to move out which i hope is within the next year or so like we are leaving <laughs> yeah we're never coming back. i love you mom i love you dad but peace we're out leaving. <laughs> so definitely that definitely i definitely see us married Mm hmm we'll definitely be married by then we'll maybe pop out another kid we're definitely gonna be rich so don't talk to me <laughs> <laughs> literally somehow we're gonna both somehow be some way somehow things look a little tough right now but it's okay because it's they're good. only gonna go up mm hmm it's only up from here okay so baby number two that's the the next question so originally when me and asia first met i've always wanted like Honestly, three kids was like what I pictured in my head, but I feel like two is fine. Like, I think I just wanted more than one, so they had like someone to play with, you know? But I always thought, like, I knew I wanted a family. And Asia, when we had already met, she already had Niani, so I don't really think she planned on having another kid. I did not. <laughs> I actually originally wanted zero. So, obviously, of course, I love Niani. Couldn't imagine not having her, but I didn't want any kids. Um, and, and you then like, even... once I had her, I felt like that was just like complete. Like I was like, oh, like perfect. I, the, like what I never knew I needed type of thing. And I never really thought about having more kids because 
I didn't want to. I'm very much so like the type of person that like is not like, oh, I'm only a mother. My whole life is being a mother. I think it's very important in order to be a good parent to have like your own time, your own hobbies, your own, you're your own person before your kids. And that makes you a better parent, kind of like you can't pour from an empty cup type of thing. And I'm also very much so like, I want to be able to provide everything for my kids. I'm talking about you don't have to worry about what college you're going to because we can't afford it. You don't have to worry about, you know, not being able to have a car because we can't afford it or not being able to be in sports and activities and do what you want to do because we can't afford it. I want to be able to, of course, like they're, you know, going to have to get good grades and, you know, earn their stuff and, you know, still teach them responsibility, but still be able to provide the way that your parents should be able to provide. So I was always just kind of like, ooh, especially when it hits like three plus kids, it just gets hard to like take care of everybody. Vacations are way more expensive. Educations are way more expensive. Your time, you have so much less of. Mm -hmm. So we definitely did compromise recently, actually too, that we will have a second baby or we will try. Yeah, we will try. We, we will don't try. Know. To Asia have a actually baby. has PCOS and she wasn't even supposed to be able to get pregnant at all. Yeah, Niani was super early. She was um, 11 weeks. She was born 11 weeks early. So. so yeah, I would not put Asia through having another kid. So if we have another baby, I will be the one carrying it. Mm. Whatever it is. <laughs> oh, twins. <laughs> twins run in her family. And if you didn't know, twins are also common with IVF because huh, if you guys like didn't know, I um, actually can't get her pregnant by myself. <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the idea of like going through that whole process makes me so nervous. Oh yeah. my god. Yeah, seriously. Oh my god. But you know what? I feel like it's also nice though because it's like we get to decide. It's not like you know every like in a hetero relationship where you're like, oop, act, oops, had a kid, got pregnant, <laughs> oops, like it doesn't. It's like we get to plan it out and we get to know like right when a good time is. So there's you know a pro. Shoot, I almost wish I wish I could get your ass pregnant. Well, just by accident. Fuck me up. <laughs> so there's that, guys. You know, once the channel blows up and we start making some money, we'll get married and have kids. Yeah, so do what y'all gotta do. Do what y'all gotta do. Literally, like, you know, do what gotta just share do. the channel to one person. Just, like, tell your best friend, like, oh, my God. Check out this couple. They're so cute. La, 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 la. Who's more prideful? Who do you think is more prideful, babe? You. How, why? Her. 1,000%. Well, one thousand percent, it is her. There's that. Who yep. do you think is more prideful, babe? Yeah, me. I don't know myself, but I can't. <laughs> it's how my brain's wired. I don't know. Who's more romantic? You know, I feel like I'm pretty romantic, but Asia would argue otherwise. I am definitely way more romantic than she is. I don't know how it's even a conversation. She swears, but no, she's yeah. not that romantic at all. Asia is really cute though. Like she'll make me baskets and do surprise trips and stuff. And like, yeah, I guess she does. Even put my in, gift giving yeah. is like more romantic. My, I'll surprise her with dates, surprise her with trips, yeah, surprise her with. But I feel like stuff whenever we like stumble upon this question, like it, she makes it seem like I don't do anything. <laughs> like she makes it seem like I really am like the most non-romantic person ever which well you kind of are you didn't used to be she was a lot more romantic when we first started dating like okay like one of our first things that happened when we first when we, we barely texting. started talking so we barely started talking and i was sick i wasn't feeling good this is before covid so yes i was at school and i was at school we were both at school and i had told her that i wasn't feeling good and so like on her our dinner break or lunch break she went and made me like a bag with like emergencies and cough drops and Hershey's kisses and all kinds of stuff and just like left it on my desk. Everybody was having a field day. Everybody was like, oh my God, oh my God, who gave that to you? Oh my God, freaking out. But yeah, she used to do like stuff like that. But you don't really do stuff like that anymore. I'm sorry, I'll have to do more stuff like that. So I would stay, it's still me, because I still always do stuff like that. How did you guys meet? How did you guys meet? So as you probably picked up on the stories we've already told, we met through school. Asia actually, saw me and started daydreaming about me and manifested <laughs> me into her life well if you didn't know i'm a witch so <laughs> <laughs> no that's but what i do literally we just ended up having the same class together and like mm -hmm. one of her friends was friends with one of my tias and it just happened to like we just happened to see each other at school like i went to go say hi to my tia's friend and she was there with her and like she made a joke or something and i started laughing and i just i don't know after Who, that <laughs> 
after that it was kind of like we made like we made more of an effort to tr- like go out of our way to like see each other like mm-hmm. because after that it's like we did not stop flirting yeah and it's crazy because the class that we had together was literally her last class so the whole time that i was in school the whole time that she was in school we never had any classes or anything together i had only known who she was just like briefly by seeing her because one of my good friends like she says was friends with her tia so she was like oh yeah like that's you know that's carly that's actually like my best friend's um niece and that was the only reason that we like i even knew who she was but we had never had a class together until her very last semester before she left school and that was just a class that we happened to have together and like get to know each other in that class literally it was so crazy and then i was gonna go off to externship which is like our internship and literally two weeks before i left and so i was gonna go to california Mm -hmm. so i was supposed to be her fake girlfriend until she moved to california well we were just kind of like i I was scared to have anything serious and like we kind of just established that we would keep talking until i left but like obviously (laughs) we both ended up catching feelings pretty hard so so. here we are literally almost two years later Mm -hmm. right What's your pet peeve about each other? Oh my god, I could go on for seven years. <laughs> Honestly, you wouldn't even think Asia loves me after she tells you all of my pet peeves. Because, like, why are you still with me if you hate everything I do? <laughs> you guys, I don't even hate everything that she does. It's not even true. She's so dramatic. My biggest pet peeve is, oh my god, I literally thought of it. What am I? Oh my god, that, that's, that's what it is. It's that she forgets <laughs> everything. You guys, she forgets everything. Thing. Like, if you think you're forgetful, I promise that you're not as forgetful as her. I would bet money because I thought I was forgetful. I thought, like, my mom, my whole life has always given me crap because my dad is super forgetful and how I'm just like him and I always forget everything. No. I do forget everything. No. I, I hate it myself, everything. but it's like, I can't help it. Because, like, like, I forget stuff. Like, I'll forget where I put certain things sometimes. Or I'll forget, like, don't get me wrong, I'll forget, like, appointments and, like, you know, stuff that pops up here and there. Like, sometimes. Carly forgets conversations um, where she lived six months ago. Um, she forgets phone numbers, names, uh, birthdays, literally anything and everything that you could possibly forget. She like forgets high school and she's only 22. It was like a few years ago and she's like, uh, um, I just, I don't remember. I, I don't, I don't remember. It could have happened this morning and I promise she doesn't remember. Well, so that's my biggest pet peeve. I will literally tell her something down to like every last detail because I remember everything like that. I'll be like, oh yeah, like it was this, it was this, here is where we were. We were doing this. Someone said this and she's still like, Mm, no are you sure i don't remember i'll tell her what she was wearing and she'll still be like "Mm, mm, really Mm, i don't know Mm." (laughs) one of my biggest pet peeves with asia is that she'll literally wait till the last second to do anything and like i'll have the whole day planned out like i'll tell her okay we're gonna go do this at this time like be ready by this time so i'll literally get ready and i'll finish like 20 minutes early and like i'll just be chilling and i'll be looking over at her and she's still like just laying in bed on her phone bad bitches are always late i I literally just want to like throw the phone out of her hand and be like start getting ready and then she starts getting mad when i'm like getting impatient like pacing the room and i'm like can we get going like can you start the process of getting ready like because she won't even know how i'm gonna get ready because you know there's levels to getting ready and she won't even know how i'm getting ready and it'll be like an hour before we'll have to go and she's like staring at me waiting for me to get ready when it's like, I don't even need to get ready yet. We don't even need to be there. Like, we don't even, it's not even time yet. So, but I am always late. So, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie because I am always late. But I'm never late to school or like work or. She's not late to important stuff, but mm-hmm. like. Exactly. To the little things that you have to do throughout the day, she will be late for. I will be late. If you're inviting me somewhere, know that I'm gonna be there, but I'm gonna be late. So. Which is fine most times, but it's like when I have something planned or we have to do something like at a certain time and like I don't want to be rushed. Like I hate feeling rushed and she really does not care. She thrives on those last mm-hmm. like five minutes of just taking her time. Mm-hmm. But in all honesty, I procrastinate everything. So it's really not that surprising. Like if I have to do something, like something is due and I have to do it and it's due today, I'm going to start it today. I'm going to start it today. Is it a 10 page research paper? Maybe, maybe, but I'm going to do it today. And I'm gonna get a good grade. I'm gonna get it done. So she's stressing me out. 
So, you All know, right. live life on the edge. YOLO. And yeah, for those that don't know, we do have a five year age gap. I am 22 and my girl's 26. Mm hmm. So, I will be 27 in November. I got myself a little MILF. That's me. A little mamacita. That's me. All right, which one smokes more? That'll definitely be me. Asia only like smokes on like basically when I smoke. I mean, she'll hit the pen, but like as for like smoking, like rolling up a joint and smoking up, like what do you do? You not nah, feel guys, you don't y'all don't know me from back in the day, so I definitely retired um, on my smoking. I don't really think she's you don't really smoke more than me though either. We just smoke together, so we usually smoke the same amount. Yeah, that's true. I have a really bad habit though, like of she when... smokes too much. <laughs> like when I smoke with people or like with my friends drinking like... too she doesn't know when to stop there's no limit like she doesn't know like if you give it to her she's gonna do it crap sure why not no. meth no. whatever no idea. No, but like definitely like when I'm like just chilling and like you keep passing me the blunt I'm gonna keep hitting it like I don't mm -hmm. all right guys so that's our uh, little get to know you video I hope you guys liked it um like subscribe comment we're gonna just keep posting more videos might as well tune in why not why not? Might as well tune in. Why not? Hmm? 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 Why not? <laughs>